Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And it'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. Uh, take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, maybe it's not your reading this time around, so don't try to make it fit if it's not your story. Um, check back next week, maybe it'll be your reading then. All right, Aries, let's get into this for Aries. What does Aries need to know and love? For Aries, please. What does Aries need to know in regards to love? For Aries, please. What does Aries need to know in regards to love? Huge thank you to everyone who has commented, liked, shared, subscribed. I really appreciate it. Your likes and your subscribes help out the, the channel a lot. What else does Aries need to know? Oh, okay. We got reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Could be a past person that you've like dated, or it could just be someone from your past, period, if you're single. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Wow. Okay. Deception. Someone's wearing a, a false self mask in this relationship. Could be that someone here has been hiding how they feel about you or vice versa. Um, or there it could just be outright deception. We'll see what we get. One more, please, for Aries in regards to love. Release your ex. <laughs> the time has come to clear your energy. Interesting. It's almost like someone's coming back from the past and you're going to be like, no. But then I have the bottom of the deck. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So maybe you should give this person a chance. We'll see. Some of you, if you're dealing with someone toxic, you know, aggressive, abusive, obviously we're going to release them. That's no, that's, there's no question about it. But for the other, for others of you, this could just be somebody that you're just don't care about anymore in that way. Um, it could be that these are two different people, someone, someone from your past and then an ex, you could be dealing with two different, I mean, you know what I mean? Like someone from your past that maybe you dated a really long time ago and then an, a recent ex, for example. All right, we'll see. This is interesting. One of these is your soulmate, I feel. <laughs> And then the other one might be deceptive. What a mess. All right, Aries. Let's see what this is all about. I'm using the Tarot of the Golden Wheel today. If I could shuffle it. Messages for Aries Spirit in regards to love 2020. Messages for Aries, please. In regards to love. I'm going to be doing a simple past, present, future spread for these monthlies I keep forgetting that I want to cut the deck for Aries all right Aries let's see in your recent past we have the three of swords ace of swords reverse there's a deception energy there something painful happened in your past four of pentacles and now you're like guarding your heart in protection mode here. It's in the present. We got the Knight of Pentacles. Nice. A very slow offer finally coming through. Queen of Cups reverse. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Um, when the Queen of Cups is reversed, there's some sort of emotional attachment, codependency possibly here. Seven of Swords. More of that deception energy. Even in your present. Past and present. Okay, in the near future, we have the Six of Cups. Well, there's the there's the past coming back. Two of Cups. There's the soulmate. <laughs> this is going to be, I feel like, a very straightforward reading for Aries. We'll see. And the Ten of Cups. Are you kidding me? 
What's at the bottom of the deck? Seven of Wands reversed. So no longer fighting, being guarded, no longer being defensive, um, giving up possibly. This could be you or this other person. Now this spread is about either you Aries or whoever you are involved with in some way. So it's not gonna be cut and dry like some of the other spreads I do where it's like how they feel about you, for example. So keep that in mind. Wow, what an interesting reading. All right, so let's get into this. Let's start with this Three of Swords. Okay, we got the Devil Reverse, Capricorn Energy there, Breaking Free of an Unhealthy Attachment. What else can you tell me about this Three of Swords? King of Swords, clear, open, honest communication with the King of Swords. The King of Swords also gets to the truth, sees right through the BS. Um, I feel like whatever either conversation that took place or whatever clarity you've got in here, it allowed you to break free from a situation that wasn't very healthy, let go of an attachment that wasn't the best for you, um, that could possibly caused a lot of pain and disappointment. Now what's this Ace of Swords reversed about? This is bad communication or just outright deception, possibly even like causing destru destruction. Tell me about the Ace of Swords reverse, please. Page of Pentacles. Interesting. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords reverse. Eight of Pentacles reverse. It's like someone's making you an offer, but not being really upfront and honest about what what effort they really will put into this offer. Or maybe there's something deceptive about the opportunity that they're bringing you or the offer that they're making. And this happened in the recent past. So maybe this is something that you've already kind of experienced. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. It's all about holding back, guarding yourself, guarding your heart, protecting yourself. The Lovers. Okay, so this is um, Gemini energy here with the Lovers. It could be that you, um, you probably are thinking that you don't want to make the same mistakes that you made in the past. You want to make better choices in a partnership. Or it could be that you're guarded against just love coming together with someone here. You get one more for this Four of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles reversed. So this is a broken commitment um, here. Could be financial difficulties, family issues as well. Uh, there's a lack of stability and security with the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Possibly a family um that's not doing very well or a commitment that has children that's not doing very well and it could be a, a few things here and it's it's like someone's holding back or is being guarded because of what has happened here bottom of the deck eight of cups so someone's definitely leaving a commitment behind here Interesting, and this is leading up to a Knight of Pentacles. What's this Knight of Pentacles about? Four of Cups. Interesting. You might not be interested in this opportunity or might not be open to this offer. I get one more for this Knight of Pentacles. Almost like you're not interested in it or you're focused somewhere else. Um, you might miss out on this opportunity because you're not really open to or interested in anything like this at this time. Tell me more for this Knight of Pentacles for Aries, please. Seven of Cups reverse. So I feel like there's, um, it's almost like, 
I'm getting a few messages, but one of the messages that came to me quickly is like, you, they already, if this offer comes, you already know what your answer is going to be. So you don't even need to think about it. There's no interest for you. Bottom of the deck, four of swords. It's like you've already been thinking about this in some way, about the possibility of this offer coming to you. Or... Like, it, like before, maybe you were confused or had doubts about this offer from this person. But now that this person is bringing this offer, you already know the answer. There's no confusion about the fact that you're not interested, if that makes sense. Tell me about this Queen of Cups reverse. What's this Queen of Cups reverse? Eight of Swords. This Queen of Cups reverse feels trapped, and I think that their emotions are playing games with them. Their 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 thoughts, their mind is playing games with them. As long, it's almost like they're they're really overthinking something because they're so emotionally invested, feeling trapped, feeling there's no way out, um, unable to see a way out. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups reverse. nine of wands reverse again a very similar energy to the seven of wands reverse it's like someone here is just giving up and um no longer wanting to be guarded it's almost like someone has been ignoring their intuition about something here you know maybe they're Emotions have been all over the place and so um, they've trapped themselves in their own fear and anxiety and almost like in this negative thinking. And it's like they're ready to give up even if though they haven't really done anything. This could be you, this could be you, your, the person you were, you know, you're dealing with. It could be one of these two people here. Um, but someone's ready to give up because of their, of their emotional state. Um, it could be also that they're just, um, you know, having an unhealthy attachment to the past, to a, a connection. Bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Cups. So I think this has to do about your feelings for someone. What's the Seven of Swords about here? What's the Seven of Swords about? Three of Pentacles reverse, something to do with a third party or something that's not working out. Could be someone sneaking away or leaving, maybe not being completely honest about this. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Five of Cups. Sadness, regret, disappointment. Again, thinking about the past. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. It could be that someone's just avoiding this whole situation. The moon. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking up Pisces energy with the moon. I'm picking up that someone hasn't been honest with themselves about how they feel towards the past. Um, maybe they haven't been honest with themselves about the how their actions also contributed to what happened to the in the past. They're like avoiding the signs, the red flags, um, seeing the illusion but not really digging deep it's, it's almost like they don't really want to dig deep to figure things out because they know already what they're going to find there bottom of the deck two of swords yeah it's like it, it's like they're in, in the traditional tarot the two of swords she is blindfolded so it's like they don't even want to see in order to make a decision So let's see, in the near future, I feel like there's a huge shift here for you, Aries. A very positive one. We'll see. 
Tell me about the Six of Cups. Let me see Six of Cups here. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Someone from the past is coming to be very serious with you. <laughs> King of Pentacles, they're very serious, very uh, grounded energy here. You know, they, they, they don't they don't have time to joke around, basically. <laughs> Page of Cups reverse. Interesting. Heartbreak, disappointment. This is probably the person that broke your heart in the past. Yeah, Two of Swords. This is that person that cannot make up their mind. They might make you an offer. And again, you might have to decide between two people here. And this is you, Aries. Like, I, you're, you're upside down. So I feel like um, with the Emperor Reverse, it's like you don't even... You feel powerless in the situation. Like, you don't have a grip on things. Um, maybe you don't feel very confident or um, sure of yourself, which is very rare for Aries. Usually, you would just make this decision, but I think this is something that you're really, like, unsure about. Because it has to do with the past. Oops. I can just stop dropping my cards. Tell me about this Two of Cups. Six of Pentacles, wanting to rebalance, make things right. Mutual feelings here, um, reciprocated feelings. You feel the same about each other. You see each other in the same, you mirror each other. Tell me about the Two of Cups. The Fool reversed. Risky, reckless energy here. Could be that your new beginning is delayed. Temperance and the Hierophant reversed. My goodness. Look at all this Major Arcana here. Taurus and Sagittarius energy. Hierophant reversed temperance. So it's almost like someone has had to break a commitment here. Or either they this was a commitment that was broken between you in the past, or one of you had to break a commitment in order to make something come together here. And it, it, it needs more time. Because this new beginning is delayed. There's, there's probably because of all the risks involved, because if this is a family situation, there might be a lot of risks. Three of Cups reverse at the bottom. There could be an interference here, a third party interference. I had the Three of Pentacles reverse. I have the Three of Swords up there. And then here I have the Three of Cups reverse. So um, it could be that someone's still dealing with an interference. But the emotions are there. You know, the feelings are there. So tell me about the Seven of Wands reverse. I mean, this Ten of Cups, it could, it, I mean, I'm not even going to clarify. That's pretty. Pretty basic. This is all about emotional fulfillment, ultimate happiness. I think you're going to be very happy with whatever takes place, no matter how long it takes. Tell me about the Seven of Wands reverse. Tell me about the Seven of Wands reverse, please. The Emperor reverse. So you're the one that feels like you no longer want to fight, be guarded. Um, possibly ready to give up the magician interesting interesting the magician so it's like you have to let your guard down in order to manifest something maybe you were ready to give up um, yeah look at this ace of cups reverse and four of wands very interesting It's like you're manifesting this four of wands, wanting a happy ending here, stab stability, um, marriage, home, uh, harmony in the home, be with your person, etc. This is what you want. And I feel like at, at one point you had given up on this dream. Like you weren't going to be able to make this happen. 
um, you weren't going to be able to manifest this. Uh, maybe you were, you know, emotionally overwhelmed and completely heartbroken and not seeing a way that this could happen. But I feel like, again, there's going to be some sort of shift here for you in the near future. And one of you in this connection has to release an ex in order to have a reconciliation or in order to come together with the temperance card here. I feel like this is your soulmate and I feel like this deception card is all about self-deception. Possibly someone here wasn't honest um, with you or whoever needs to release their ex, they need to release them because they weren't honest. There's something hidden here that I feel has to do with either a third party or someone's emotions true feelings and you know there's some sort of deception with this offer up here because somebody's not really putting in a lot of effort or wanting to really put in a lot of effort um it's like a it's like a, a crappy offer almost so that's why i think there's like two different energies here that you might be dealing with aries um, otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, Aries. I hope that this resonated for you in some way. Please let me know in the comments if it did. I love hearing from you. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.